everybody. How are you all doing? I hope you are having an amazing, amazing day. I am off to go grab some coffee because coffee just sounds good today. It's kind of, it's not like dreary, dreary, but it's just kind of dark. It's kind of just like a gray. It's a gray. Um, and so a, just a nice latte sounds amazing. So I'm going to go treat myself to to just a yummy latte. So uh, I am off to do that and then get some work done and kick some ass, uh, take some names, all that. Uh, I have just, I'm really excited about some of the work that I have to do today. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, but, but I was sitting here, well, I really wasn't like sitting thinking, it's kind of came in today. Um, because I've been, so, um, I've been working on, on some things and some things with Facebook, really, and, um, there's been a lot of, um, commentary as I work through this about kind of my business and what I do and, and how, you know, Facebook really has done this, you know, like all sexual content is wrong, including even like sexual growth and expansion and, and, um, I'm not going to get into it all, but like, um, Facebook and I are not getting along right now as far as ads and things go because they're not loving my content and I'm kind of like, my content's my content. I'm not changing my content for, for you, um, uh, because that's my message and my message is my message. Um, uh, but that is also not the topic, but, but anyway, so it kind of came through to me today, this like black and white topic because Recently, I've had several, several conversations uh, that I've ended up thinking like, wow, that's a really black and white thought. That's a really kind of like, it is either this way or it is that way. There is like no gray. There is no in between. And it really got me just thinking about how so often in times we will go, well, it's either this way or this way. There is no in between. There is no gray. There is no... Uh, it's either right or it's wrong. And I actually hear this a ton when I'm talking to people about sex and relationships. We have very, very, very strong beliefs about our sex and our relationships and how they should be done and how they shouldn't be done. And we, not only for ourselves, but we also judge and blame other people and go, okay, well, like, that's wrong. And the fact that you're doing that is wrong. Um, or it should be done this way. And I really want to take a second and, and have you guys think about the, tr the fact that really there is no true right or wrong. If you're not physically hurting another, if you're not hurting somebody else, which is also we can kind of go into like what is hurting somebody else. That is, that's a pretty broad thing as well. Like there's gray area there. There is definitely gray area there, but, uh, think about it. I mean, there is gray in almost every situation. We can think there There usually is not a this is right and this is wrong. Now, on that same topic, you can have what is right and what is wrong for you. You are allowed to have your non-negotiables. And that is perfectly, actually it's like perfectly, perfectly healthy and good to have your non-negotiables, your things that you're like, no, like I stand for this. This is not okay with me. And I'm not going to allow this in my life. However, when we're here, when we're listening to others, when others are sharing their stories, when other others are sharing their experiences with us, uh, it is important to keep an open mind and go, okay, well, where are they coming from? You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree. But, and you don't actually have to keep an open mind. You don't. Like, you get the choice to not do that. But I am going to strongly encourage you all to listen to your soul because our souls want us to keep an open mind. They want us to, to really tune in to other people and hear them out and hold space for other. And so to really think like, okay, well, where is this person coming from? Where is this perspective coming from? Uh, where could there be gray here? Where, uh, where... 
am I kind of forcing this person into a black or white kind of situation? And like I said, I see this a ton in relationships. Um, so I have, I, I can distinctly, distinctly remember um, another, when, back when I was doing like straight up therapy, which I don't do anymore, uh, back when I was doing straight up therapy, there was another therapist and I can remember this therapist being like, men and women should never be friends. Like they just should not be friends. Like if you're married, you should not have, have female friends. It is wrong. If this, this, this other therapist was a man. Um, and he's like, it's wrong because that means that I could have an attraction to, to my friend and then, then I'm cheating. Well, that was his non-negotiable. That was his belief system. That was his black and white. I heard that and I go, I was like, I don't believe that's true. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case. I don't think, um, that is necessarily cheating. Um, and I hear this a lot in relationships. I hear it a lot in sex. Like, oh, well, sex has to be like this or it has to be like that. And although I'm very much a proponent for like that deeper sex that kind of, that really fills you up and really expands you, I'm also not going to tell somebody that it is totally wrong for them to go and just have some fun sex. Uh, I'm not going to do that. There is time and place and we have to understand that everybody is at a different place everyone is coming from a different perspective everyone's had different experiences and so you can have your belief systems that's okay and you really can try to put these belief systems on others I don't believe that's okay I think it is important to like to just like allow others to have their belief systems and allow you to have your belief systems and and you can have like some really good constructive conversation. I think that is an amazing thing. I think that is, that expands us, that allows us to learn and grow. Because I have friends and, and people in my life that have completely different perspectives. And when I stop and I really think about like, okay, well, where are they coming from? What is their, their perspective on this? Sometimes I agree. Sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, like I see that. I do, I see that. And sometimes I completely disagree. I go like, I still am a no to that. I still don't. I still can't get on board. However, I understand at a greater level why you are on board with that. I understand to a greater level why you're choosing what you're choosing. I think it's a lot easier to sit in the in the passenger seat and go, "Oh, well, you should do this or you should do that." I hear this a lot. Like, "Well, you should," you know, you like things like you should just break up with that person or you should just leave your your wife or you should do this or you well that's really easy for somebody who's not in the situation to do and I'm not that's not an excuse for us to hide with our bullshit and like not not face ourselves and not force ourselves to kind of grow and expand that's not what I'm, I'm saying like there is expansion and there is like facing your stuff but it's much easier to sit in the passenger seat and give advice and tell people what to do. It's much harder to be living that situation, have to, and we'll kind of go in, in like the relationship direction for a moment of like, it's a lot easier to look at somebody and go, well, you should just, you should just cut that relationship off or you should just, um, you know, you should just stop you know, want, wanting that desi that sexual desire that you want. It's a lot easier to do that. It's a lot harder to like look at somebody else in the face and go, you know, I, we've had this, this experience and I, I, I don't, I don't want you in my life anymore. That's much more difficult. That is way more challenging than, um, than sitting there and just kind of giving lip service to it. I said this yesterday and I think it's like my week, my, uh, quote of the week. It's a Brene Brown quote. And again, I'm going to trash it because I suck at remembering quotes, but it's the quote, like if it's the quote, she talks about, um, being in the arena. And if you're also not in the arena, getting your ass kicked, then like, I don't want your advice. I don't want your opinion because you're, you're not in there. You're not down in the dirt. You're not really kind of, kind of growing and expanding on yourself. And I think this go this is the same thing when it comes to um to advice like if you're not 
in there doing your own work, if you're not expanding, if you're not willing to sit and like open your own mind and hold space for somebody else, then I'm sorry. Like, um, I don't want your opinion. And that is me personally. Um, but I do think it is, it is a personal, um, I think it's, it's a really good policy in general. Um, to kind of like, if somebody else isn't, isn't there doing their own work, expanding, opening their minds, really, this is, that's really what the talk is about. Um, and I'm obsessed with the word really today, I guess. Um, it's what the talk is about is to kind of just open your mind, be willing to, when you have that immediate like gut reaction of like, like, I know exactly what this person should do, or I want to shut this down, or like the answer is this, like, and it's, and it to you feels very simple and very like, well, it's just this, just do this. To stop, because that's your ego. To stop because that's your ego and breathe. Breathe for a second, hit the pause button that sometimes I'm not great at, um, and I talk with. If you watch my free spirit talks, I'll be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that great with the pause button but I've gotten so much better with the pause button over the years. Um, I'm getting, it, it's an expansion for me. Uh, but to kind of hit that pause button and go like, where am I being very black and white focused? Because our lives are just not black and white. They're not guys, my, my ponytail is bothering me. Uh, they're not black and white. We live very intricate, dynamic life, lives. Uh, and so you, can never truly step into somebody else's shoes. So to really open open up that mind to just at least hearing different perspectives, you don't have to get on board with them, but to be willing to sit there and just go, okay, like I'm willing, I'm going to truly hold space. I'm going to truly listen, actively listen, not like that, like BS listen where you're like, uh-huh, 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 yeah, I, I hear you, I hear you. Like you know when somebody is doing that, but truly like stop and like breathe for a second and like feel your body like yeah feel your body and just listen and 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 try to kind of read between the lines and hear not read between the lines but like hear between the lines and the perspectives that could be kind of um playing into this um and look at where you are personally having like these very black and white perspectives in your life um I know sometimes I will I will stop and go like, okay, well, where am I being very black and white um, here? Where am I going from like, okay, um, this is right or this is wrong or this is, th I have to do this or this isn't, like that is, those are just like, like ends of the spectrum kind of things where most of our lives, I would say 95, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to guesstimate here. 95% of our lives is really lived in this gray zone. And that's what makes it so much fun. It truly is. It's what makes life so much fun. We get to, to experience other people's intricacies and dynamics. We get to experience and, and truly dive deeper into our own intricacies and dynamics and perspectives and where we got like that. It makes it so much fun. It really, that is why I love humans because, because there is so much exploration to be done. However, if we we are like, it's A or it's B, um, black or it's white, then we miss all that beauty in our lives. So lean into the beauty. Lean into the beauty of the gray. Because the gray can be super amazing. Gray can be super amazing. And I can promise you that you will, when you truly listen to somebody and you you open yourself up to hearing their perspective, it's much harder not to love them. It's much easier to, to close someone down and fall out of love with somebody. And I don't even, I'm not talking about like in love. I'm talking about like that unconditional like soul love. It's much easier to shut somebody down and shut ourselves off from truly connecting when we go into that black and white. So look at where, where that could be true for you. Um, on that note, I want more coffee, so I'm going to go get more coffee. Um, I am doing Cultivating the Vibe starting Monday. It is filling up, so get in there now. Um, you can go sign up for it on addisonbell.net, or you can do a little bit of scrolling. It's only like this much scrolling, um, and it will be 
in my uh, news feed or as soon as I have my coffee and I'm set up with my computer, I will go ahead and post that. Uh, other than that, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'm sending you all love, light, and blessings, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.